Welcome to today's Merchant Webinar session. Today, we'll be highlighting the main sections within the Merchant Interface, as well as the important aspects of your account that you should be aware of as you're starting to grow your affiliate program on the network. If you have any questions during today's session, please feel free to ask them in the chat box, and we'll answer as many of them as we can during and after the presentation. You have the ability to set up a variety of creative assets for your program under the Creatives tab. And I'll walk through the different types of creatives and how to set them up. If you go to the Creatives tab and click All Creatives, you'll be able to review your full creative inventory. The first tab we'll look at is the Banners tab. Banners are simply images that are clickable. When a user clicks a banner that's posted on an affiliate's website, they'll be redirected to your website where they'll hopefully make a purchase. We recommend including several different types of banners in your creative inventory. For example, you can include banners that display your company logo, lifestyle images, best-selling products, specific sales or deals, and more. The more banners you can provide to your affiliates, the better, because different affiliates may want different types of banners. An affiliate may even reach out to you directly and request that a certain banner be set up for them with the dimensions of their choosing to best fit their website. There are no limits or restrictions related to the number of banners you can set up, nor are there restrictions to the dimensions of your banners in general. We do recommend that your image files for your banners do not exceed one megabyte. Both static and animated images may be used for your banners as well. To set up a banner, Simply click Choose File to pull up the banner editor. First, you'll click Choose File to upload the image you'd like to use for the banner. Then you'll populate each field in the information box. You can assign name and category to your banner, which will then be referenced by your affiliates. You'll enter the landing page URL associated with your website that you'd like the banner to redirect to when it's clicked and you'll specify whether or not the banner is active or inactive. You can make a banner active or inactive at any time. Lastly, you'll specify whether the banner is public to all of your affiliates or private to a specific affiliate. If you'd like to make a banner private to a specific affiliate, you'll simply select Private and choose which affiliate the banner is private to. When you're ready to save your banner, you'll click Add Now or Schedule Change if you'd like to have it saved at a later date. Next, we'll look at text links. Text links are simply text that's clickable, as opposed to banners, which are images that are clickable. Text links and banners function exactly the same in that an affiliate will promote a text link on their website, and when a customer clicks the link, they'll be redirected to your website. Text links are typically used by affiliates that have more copy-heavy websites and want to include a link that will seamlessly fit within their copy. Text links are also very useful in promoting a certain product or deal, as you can include a brief product description and call to action that can be used as a clickable link. You can add a text link by clicking Add Text Link, and the setup process is very similar to the banner setup that we walked through moments ago. Next, we'll talk about coupons. If you're currently promoting any coupons or deals on your website that you'd like your affiliates to be aware of, it's always a good idea to include them in your creative inventory. Adding or relaunching a coupon once a month is a great way to recruit and activate affiliates. All coupons are sent via RSS feed to share sale affiliates so it's a great way to gain some additional exposure for your program. You can add a coupon by clicking the Add Coupon button to pull up the coupon editor. Then you'll simply add all the applicable information associated with the coupon in the information section. Once you've added all the appropriate information, you'll click Add Coupon to add it to your creative inventory. Once the coupon has been added to your creative inventory, 
Your affiliates will have the ability to generate their own unique tracking links associated with the coupon from within their accounts. It's important to note that you'll need to set up and activate a coupon code on the back end of your website prior to adding it to your inventory. Coupon codes are not automatically applied during checkout if an affiliate's tracking link is clicked. The customer will still need to manually enter the appropriate coupon code during checkout in order for it to be applied. The purpose of adding a coupon to your creative inventory is simply to notify your affiliates that it's live on your website and eligible to promote. We do allow merchants to set up and upload HTML creatives if they'd like. However, it's important to note that if you'd like to set up an HTML creative, you will need to have experience with HTML code as our team is not able to provide assistance with setting up HTML code. If you're not familiar with HTML code, I'd recommend simply uploading banners instead. You do have the ability to upload videos if you'd like to showcase your products to your affiliates. If you'd like to upload a video, you'll click Add Video to pull up the video editor. Videos must be uploaded in an MP4 format, and they will need to be publicly hosted on your end. If you need ShareASale to publicly host your videos, we will host up to three videos on your behalf. If this is the case, your videos must not exceed 25 megabytes. Lastly, you can click the All Creatives tab to review all of your creative assets in chronological order based on their upload date. Thank you for taking the time to join our Merchant Webinar. We hope this information will help you continue to set up and optimize your accounts on the network. If you have any additional questions related to the tools or features available within your account, please don't hesitate to submit a ticket by going to the Help Center. You can access the Help Center on the left side of the homepage. Once your ticket has been submitted, a member of our Merchant Development Team will be more than happy to provide further support.